A few months ago, I had the pleasure of talking with Key West resident Frank Garner. Now, he is such an amazing and inspirational man. Frank is also living proof that long-term survival with HIV is possible. He credits much of this to the community of Key West because of their encouragement, their support, and their care. Frank has gotten through all of this, and he wants to do everything he can to give back to the community. One of the things he's doing to give back is his Red Ribbon Holiday Party, which he'll talk with us about this morning. Frank, thank you so much for being back on the show with me. It is such a treat to be with you again. <laughs> Frank, you can tell that you are in the holiday spirit. I love it. Why don't you start by telling our viewers the history of Red Ribbon? Well, about um, four, a little over four years ago, uh, they came to the client committee and told us about all the cuts that were coming down statewide, nationally, and my first question was, you know, we have a lot of people who have children, and I can't imagine someone with a family on a limited income feeding, uh, especially this time of year. You know, I always think about the children, because mm -hmm. when I was growing up, my parents gave us such wonderful Christmases. What do they do? I mean, if I had a child, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have the means to, you know, give my child uh, the kind of Christmas I had. Mm -hmm. So the committee, I said, let's, let's do something for the children. This community is so wonderful and so giving uh, all year long to AIDS help, but we don't think about the, the families. Mm -hmm. And so everybody was like, well, that's, that's a good idea. Well, why don't, we, why don't we do that? What can we call it? So we, well, we could call it Red Ribbon Holiday. Well, it's your idea, so we'll call it Frank's Red Ribbon Holiday, <laughs> and you take care of it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Right. Raise your hand, you get, <laughs> you get elected. And um, so we started, this is the fourth annual Frank's Red Ribbon Holiday. And the first year, we just went out and begged for toys. And we made big, you know, tried, tried to... Uh, make the Christmas bags for, you know, if it was a girl for five years old, you know, put girly things, mm -hmm. <laughs> or boys with trucks and balls, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And then I thought it would be so much easier if we could just collect money and give gift certificates to the parents. They could go to the store and buy whatever their children want. Mm -hmm. So that's what we started doing. Started collecting money. And I will jump to last year. We had 19 uh, children throughout Monroe County. That uh, we, and I collected enough to give each child $75 in gift certificates. Oh, how wonderful, Frank. And, um, I was, I was so thrilled, and the party was, the party was so much fun. Peter Diamond and Michael Thomas uh, came and entertained, and they're such good guys. They did it for gratis, mm -hmm. um, and it was held in the Poinciana Royale courtyard. Hopefully, we're going to have good sunny weather again this year. And everybody had such a great time that they was like, oh, can't wait till next year's party. Mm -hmm. This year we have 30 children. Wow. So I, I'm, I'm a little nervous. 
about uh, <laughs> how are we gonna having more kids. I think you will be just fine, Frank. And it, it is taking place this Sunday at Point Siena, and the public is invited to Public's attend. Public's invited, mm -hmm. 6 o'clock Sunday evening, Point Siena Royale. Uh, there's no parking in Point Siena itself, Point Siena Royale. So we're asking people to park on Duck Avenue. I'm sure the residents of Duck <laughs> We're not happy about that. Though. <laughs> hey, they'll survive. <laughs> they'll survive, and, right? And again, Frank, I can tell the passion you have with doing this, and I hope you have another tremendous year. Well, you know, um, we started uh, playing, having bingo games every Saturday at Point Siena. And in around the 1st of December, uh, every Saturday we would play uh, bingo, and so whatever people, it was a dollar card or whatever, and people, the money would go to Frank's Red Ribbon. Well, we've managed to raise quite a bit of money mm -hmm. playing bingo, so we've gotten a good start. Mm -hmm. And then um, one of our wonderful firms here, I'm not sure if I can mention the name, <laughs> a, a rather important furniture store mm -hmm. has uh, pledged $500, uh, which is really generous. Mm -hmm. So, and people, you know, along have been handing me, oh, here's contribution for Frank's Red Ribbon. Well, wonderful. And my sister just arrived from Virginia. Mm -hmm. And her girlfriends got together, and they had a nice envelope for me with some money in it. Well, good. So you have a lot of support this year. And, Frank, we're running out of time, so we'll tell our viewers again that they can come this Sunday to Point Siena Royale from 6 to 8 p.m., and all the money that is raised goes Every to families. Every cent mm -hmm. goes to the, fam the children of people living with HIV-AIDS. Wonderful. And it's uh, from 6 to 8. Great. Well, I hope you have a good food, turnout. Food, entertainment, drinks, everything's entertainment's <laughs> provided. Well, and you in a beautiful hat and tie, too, hopefully, right? <laughs> don't, don't forget the hat, Frank. Because <laughs> you'll see me in this outfit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, it's been a pleasure to have you on again this morning. Thank you for being back. Oh, you're such fun. And thank you for what you do. I think this is a, an amazing thing, Frank. So I thank hope it you. continues for many more years. I'm going to take a quick break. There's more to come this morning. Stay with me.